on your phone, turn your phone lights on for the national anthem. And the Grammy goes to Come on, twice as tall, Burna Boy. Welcome to An African Perspective. Burner Boy is undoubtedly one of the most talented artists in Africa. He is a Nigerian songwriter, singer, rapper, and a musical genius who has inspired a new genre of music called Afrofusion, achieving what very few could ever dream of. He is a Grammy Awards winner and a three times BET Awards winner and countless music awards winner. Here is a story on how he rose from the streets of Nigeria to become a global superstar. This is the making of the giant of Africa. For us to better understand his lyrics and ingenuity, we must go back to where it all began. His story began in Port Harcourt, southern Nigerian city. Burner Boy's real name, Damini Ogulu, was born on July 2nd, 1991. He told GQ magazine he gave himself the name Burner Boy because of his love for comic characters. Basically, I wanted to be a superhero in it, right? so I came up with a superhero in it. <laughs> from like comic books like Spider-Man, Superman, Burner Boy. His father ran welding business. His mother was a lecturer and translator. Burner Boy got his creativity from his maternal grandfather, who was the first manager of the late Afrobeat legend, Fela Koti. He moved to London to continue his education after high school in Lagos. He dropped out of the university only after two years. He later studied media technology at the University of Sussex. Burner Boy counts several African, Caribbean, and American artists among his influences. He told The Breakfast Club, DMX, Naughty by Nature, Angelique Kijo, Hugh Masakella, Supercat, and Buju Banton are the early music influences. What was your inspiration back then? Man, just basically life and, and like other like artists I would watch. Like who, know? African artists or... I mean, from the young, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. like from the younger days, there was no African <laughs> artist. It was all DMX and oh, you Naughty DMX by fan. Nature. And Burner Boy also found inspiration from Fela Koti. The most influential is definitely Fela. It's definitely hands down. He created a sound, like a movement that's still existing today. This is the part of the story where we talk about who he is because his name will be coming up a lot. Fela Koti is a Nigerian musician and activist who launched a modern style of music called Afrobeat. Burner Boy has often been compared to him because of his style of music and the number of times he has sampled the late Afrobeat legend. Burner Boy's ability to effortlessly sing and rap songs while preserving quality and staying true to himself was the reason for his success when he finally broke into the U.S. market. He is now fully aware of who he is and his purpose as an artist, but that has not always been the case. Face blood splash and lock the head back me. Rain that from the wall like bait about the mouth to talk baby in red up. Panoras, so pussy drain that. So that's where the Muslim head rock. He told The Breakfast Club it took him a while to find his own style, which he calls Afrofusion, a blend of Afrobeat, dancehall, reggae, American rap, and R&B. I started growing up and I started being more in tune with who I am and my reality. And what was that reality? That I'm an African man who, who um, is from Africa, lives in Africa. Burner Boy began making music when he was just 10 years old after his classmate gave him a copy of the production software Fruity Loops. In 2012, he released the lead single of his debut studio album, Life, acronym for Leaving an Impact for Eternity. The song blew up, officially putting him on the map outside Nigeria and the continent. He first started making waves in the UK. 
After the success of his first album, he released Redemption in 2015, which was a seven-track EP under his own record label, Spaceship Entertainment. After parting ways with Aristocrat Records, his mom then became his new manager. In 2017, Burner Boy announced he has signed with Bad Habit, Atlantic Records in the United States, and Warner Music Group internationally. With the support of the new record label, he had connection to many international artists and producers. His third album, Outside, released in January 2018, easily debuted number three on the Billboard World Albums chart. The real gem of the album was Ye. As a DJ, I remember playing at a party in China, and the minute the opening lines of Ye burst through my turntable, the immediate reaction from the crowd was insane. It was like the crowd was re-energized. The chorus was the loud noise that took over the room. From the old to the young, everyone was singing their lungs out. Nigerians on Twitter got a bit carried away and demanded that Ye should replace the present national anthem as the lyrics best symbolizes the state of the nation. Then there was the Kanye West moment. First with his album release, which bore the same title Ye, leading to a spike in streaming numbers for Burner Boy. Then when Kanye West was dancing to the song during his visit to Uganda. My yay is different from your yay, which means Burner Boy's yay is different from Kanye West's yay, which was trending on Twitter and kept people talking about that song. The year 2019 was a very busy year for Burner Boy. He dropped six singles accompanied by stunning music videos. Then he released his fourth album, African Giant, in July. The album was classic. He silenced his doubters and gained respect from the mainstream players in the music industry. Music lovers who didn't know him before now knew who he was. We love you, we love your music, and you're beautiful. To promote the album, Burner Boy headlined the African Giant Returns Tour. He also performed at Coachella's annual music festival in California. Burner Boy released a four-track collaboration EP with Los Angeles-based electronic duo DJDS titled Steel and Copper. That same year, he recorded Jaira, for Beyonce's The Lion King, The Gift Album. Burner Boy was nominated in the Best World Music Album category for the 62nd Grammy Awards, but lost out to Angelique Kijo at the awards ceremony in 2020. Hey, it's finally In the year 2020, Burner worked above and beyond to widen his reach on the world stage. He released his fifth album, Twice as Tall, on August 14th of that year. Executive produced by American rapper and producer Sean Diddy Combs and his momager, known as Mama Burna. He told Angela Yee of Breakfast Club he chose Diddy to produce the album because he's someone that he had always looked up to and it is a huge blessing to have him as an executive producer of the album. So what made you choose Diddy and how did that relationship come about and what was like his whole influence? No, nah, man, he's someone that I've always, you know, I've always, you know, looked up to him and, you know, so this was... This is a, a, it's a big blessing to me. The album became his highest charted project, debuting at number one on the Billboard World Albums chart. On November 24, 2020, Burner Boy was nominated for a second consecutive year under the World Music Album category in the 63rd Annual Grammys Awards. 
And the Grammy goes to. Oh, come on. Twice as tall. Burn a boy. Oh, my night job. The Grammy nomination described Twice as Tall album, and I quote, a masterpiece in the vibe and hustle that have made Burner Boy an international musical force. He continues to torch limitations and seamlessly blending styles and genre and fearlessly fueling the fire, heating the melting pot of pop, Afrobeat, dancehall, reggae, and more. 